Hi, I'm Austin, and I want to share with you a bluegrass rhythm guitar playing technique that you could use in country music or folk music as well to make your backup strumming more dynamic and interesting. It's a technique that's uh, played by a lot of the greatest bluegrass guitar players. Great rhythm players incorporate this technique. I call it the flourish. I want, I've slowed down a recording here to share with you what it sounds like. So we can really key into what it sounds like. Here you go. So pretty neat, right? Not too challenging, especially as we slowed this song down to 55%. That's what you often have to do to hear these intricacies. But it's in this recording here that we hear this great little technique that is essentially playing, if we dumb it down and make it to its most basic, it's strumming louder in the spaces where there are no vocals. So that's essentially what we're aiming to do here. I'm gonna demonstrate and give you a technique to practice getting it really strong and even so that it feels like this little wave of energy, a little bit extra kind of dynamic energy in the backup. So we're going to be doing this on the key, uh, in the key of G. And I'm using this, this uh, G chord here, which just helps this technique sound a little bit better. So that's uh, with these two fingers down. Now, a uh, couple rules that you want to kind of follow by. This louder strumming in the space is I'm calling the flourish. You don't want to do it on the whole chord because it'll sound muddy. Too loud and muddy there. What we're aiming to do is just the the higher strings on the instrument. So maybe the, the you know the highest three or four like this. So that's what our first thing that we're going to be aiming for, just the uh, skinnier or higher strings is what we're going to be looking for. The next thing we want to uh, be careful to is it's just a few, usually just a few strums. So what we're going to do here is basically an up, down, up strum. All right, so you can try just that and then we'll put it together with the rest of this, the strumming. Just up, down, up. That's kind of what we're doing, the most common rhythm. You could do it with different rhythms, but that's the most common of all of them. So the way that fits into the strumming pattern, if you're a counter, would be like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. It's gonna happen right after that bass note. The way I like to practice that is along with this recording here, it's just a G chord played nice and slowly. So let's try that together at that speed. Ready? Just a G chord. Here it comes. Three and go. So there's a bass note that happens right before. that skill sort of in an isolated way here you can sort of think of it as a drum fill it's just filling in the spaces where there's not singing happening you could also use this during someone's instrumental solo or their break 
to make the backup to their playing a little bit more interesting. So in which case, you're still thinking the phrasing of what the singer would be singing, and you put those flourishes where the spaces would be with the singing. That'll kind of make shape, more shape to the solo that that person's taking. It'll also help s people stay in time and kind of recognize the form a little bit better because you're following the structure of the, the melody. So if I were to do that in the context of that previous song, it would sound like this. There'll be a, uh, I'll skip ahead to a solo so you can hear that. example of that right there we're adding the same flourishes that we would do uh, in the spaces if we were singing but even for the solos so let's practice that in the key of D same pattern where we'll just do you know a few beats of strumming and then one one flourish all right here's the key of D Finding that a little bit too challenging, you could slow it down or just practice the flourish on its own. It's the up, down, up strum. And remember, we want to avoid the lowest two strings because that muddies the sound up. We're just aiming for the higher strings. So work on that in the key of G and in the key of D. In just this very simple scenario where you are filling in the space every few beats. Once you've done that, find the songs that you know that have a lot of spaces in them and practice this flourish technique with a song that you know really well in the spaces. It might be harder to do this singing and playing at the same time at first. A good place to practice it is in jams when you are accompanying other singers and you can focus on your guitar playing. It'll become more natural over time. If I were to demonstrate on this, this like a song, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, it would sound like this. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home awaiting in the sky. try that with me. There's a few spaces in this song. Some songs have more spaces, some of them have less. Let's try it. Three, four. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? Here we go. There's a better home awaiting in the sky. demonstrating at the very end there a cool technique where you're combining the flourish with what's called the push which is another skill that you can use I have a separate video on that so make sure to check out that it's called the push 
and I think the video is called supercharge your rhythm playing if you kind of put it on a really strong uh, strong song that has uh, um, accents and emphasis on certain words it's a really good tool to use but it also you can mix it with the flourish the two techniques basically in the spaces you want to be doing one of the ways that you can play more interestingly is this push the flourish or the bass lines which I have another video on finding bass lines and getting the timing right on that so hope you enjoyed this technique again my name is Austin I have several videos on bluegrass rhythm guitar bluegrass country rhythm guitar as well as uh, videos on my channel for ear training and mandolin fiddle uh, practice techniques and strategies and also my website has a really uh, big set of resources for inspiration for guitar or mandolin or fiddle weekly and monthly inspiration that's all in one place and you, again you can find that on, on my website which is just my name Austin Shelzo and Shelzo spelled like Skelzo uh, dot com you can see that all in the description thanks for watching and good luck with your practicing